Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Unboxing Stuff. And today is kind of an exciting video because we are starting our very first giveaway for a Cooler Master Master Pulse gaming headset. And I'll tell you guys more about that later. However, if you're really just interested in that, there's a link down in the description where you can go and enter that giveaway. But before we get on to the giveaway, let's talk about this cool thing right here, which is a variable ND filter that is made by KNF Concepts. And this filter is something that I looked up and did some research on after my last two videos. I had a really hard time. I wasn't able to get the white balance just right because it was just so overpowering how much light there was. So a variable ND filter is essentially a set of sunglasses for your camera. Uh, so I'm pretty excited. I've not tested this outside yet. I've only looked through it. Uh, but let's go ahead and pull it out of the box and take a quick look at it and then I'll show you how to throw it on to one of my lenses I have here and uh, then we can do some testing on it and then talk about our giveaway as well. So it comes in a nice little package. Uh, this is a mid-range, mid to lower range uh, variable ND filter. I wanted something that I could just go ahead and buy and not have to you know, worry about uh, but I also didn't want something that was super low quality or whatever. And this one seemed to be a kind of a good mix. So it's just a simple cardboard box here. And then it comes in a plastic case, which looks like it probably fits all the different sizes. Uh, the particular size I got is a 58 millimeter. So it just pops open. And then you have your variable filter. So basically what this does, you screw it on and then you can turn this from the minimum all the way to the maximum. Uh, and it'll adjust basically how dark the glass is, how much light it actually allows through. So to put it on, you just take your lens and also if you don't know what size your lens is, on the front it should say what size it is. Mine happens to be 58 millimeter. And so you take your ND filter and then you just screw it right in place. And then once you bottom out, you'll just want to give it a just a light little extra push. That way it locks in and allows you to easily adjust without worrying about unscrewing it. And I'd say this is relatively smooth. You can hear just a little bit of a uh, light scrape as it goes. I mean, I imagine that the higher end ones are probably even quieter than this is. Um, but it goes on relatively easy and it is it feels very smooth to move back and forth. So at this point, let's go ahead and jump outside. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you a picture of just the back side of my house where the sun's hitting it, it's super bright. And then we'll throw on the filter and then we'll adjust it around so you can see how it changes the footage so you can actually see outside. So I'm super excited for my next outdoor video because now I will be able to provide the video quality that I've been wanting to outside with that bright sunlight. So let's go ahead and jump outside and get that started. Alright everybody, here we are out in the backyard. It is a beautiful sunny day and as you can see, you can barely see. And that's the problem and that's why I got this filter. So I don't think I need to do much more of a comparison. Let's go ahead, put this filter on the camera and then see how things can come into light when you can actually adjust the white balance and get it to where you want it to be. So let's go ahead and put this on. Okay, so we're just gonna do a quick test going through. So here's the bare minimum, lowest setting. And then there's the very highest setting. So I'm gonna jump back out and then I'm gonna have my camera woman adjust this until it looks pretty good until you can see me how I'd want you to see me when I'm doing normal video inside all right so go ahead and adjust okay so as you can see there you can actually see now it's not just this big whitewashed mess which nobody can appreciate um, 
which is a real bummer when you're working hard on a video and you try and do something like this and all of a sudden you get back to the editing process and then it's just it's like you can barely tell what I did. So I'm really excited to have this and uh, you know be able to work on a new level basically. Um, and the cool thing is I can actually show you things outside and you can see and appreciate what it is I'm showing you and you know it allows me to do a lot more stuff, a lot more freedom and uh, with a variable you know right now there's some clouds coming over and we're able to adjust slightly to uh, compensate for that so we can still take care of the brightness issue but still allow it to look and feel pretty good. So at this point in time I have to rate this thing a 10 out of 10. The price is right it seems to be of relatively good quality. I don't have any issues with it. Um, it's actually nicer than what I was anticipating to get for this price range. I'm sure you could spend more and get a nicer one. I'm sure you could spend less and get a worse one. But I think this one's good mid to low tier uh, around the 40-ish dollar price range. And these come in all sorts of different sizes. So uh, I will include a link to Amazon, which is now an affiliate link. And uh, they have all sorts of different sizes on there. And if you guys buy anything off Amazon going through my link, I will get some sort of a kickback. And I was putting it off for a while, but then I was actually uh, prompted to go ahead and get my affiliate link by one of my subscribers, which is Creative Type. And I would like to thank you for giving me a little bit of motivation to go ahead and get that done uh, so I can get some funds for the channel to continue to improve the way I do things and then also get other cool stuff to review and show you guys. So thank you, Creative Type. You're awesome. I appreciate it. Um, so yeah, I think that about wraps it up for this review on this product. Um, I like it. I recommend it. And if you need something that's somewhat affordable but will do a good job, I think this is it. Um, it's going to take a little bit of time for me to get used to it and to be able to give you just like perfect looking video. You know, I mean, I'm not there yet, but I can get you relatively good at this point and we'll just continue to improve as we go down the road. So I think that wraps this up. Let's go ahead and head into the office and we'll talk a little bit about the giveaway. Okay, now that we got our unboxing and review out of the way, let's talk a little bit about the reason why at least some of you are even here. This is the Master Pulse Cooler Master headset that I'm giving away. Uh, all you have to do is click down on the link. It's a Gleam giveaway. Uh, I'm sure most of you have done those already. You just go on there and do a couple actions and all of a sudden you get entries. The more entries you get, the better you are, or the better your chances on actually winning uh, the headset. The giveaway at this point is only for the United States, all 50 states. I'm paying the shipping, so I don't know how crazy things get when we go outside that limit. So I'm sorry to anybody who's not in the United States. Uh, for now, this giveaway is just for the U.S. But feel free to you know subscribe to the channel and you know check out my Twitter and all that stuff. Uh, anyway, and then in the future, who knows, I mean, if I get a little extra cash, maybe I'll do something uh, international, but for now, just the U.S. So, this is the headset that I unboxed in one of my first unboxing videos on the channel. I only had it out of the box long enough to pretty much test it out and give you guys a good feel about the headset itself. If you'd like to see that, I'll have a link at the end of the video if you want to go back and watch it and see what I thought about this headset. But it is that headset, so technically it's not brand new. But I didn't use it very much, and it's clean, and it's in good shape, back in the box. Uh, so you guys will get to uh, enjoy it, since I upgraded to the Void Pro headset back here, uh, which I really like, uh, especially for what I do. Uh, but this is still a reasonable headset, and for free, and it's a great price. You can't beat that under any circumstances. So free shipping, you get the headset. So go ahead and jump on down to the description. Click on that link if you haven't done it already enter the giveaway and then you know share with your friends as much as you would be uh, inclined to do so you know the maybe your friend will give it to you if he wins who knows uh, but you can share that link down anywhere you don't get any bonus points for that but it would help me out and I would appreciate it other than that if you don't want to just go there complete all the actions you get the points and there's a really high value point for the daily entry so keep that in mind, if you just click back every day, you can enter and get extra points, which will help your chances of winning. So uh, I just want to wish you guys all good luck on the giveaway, and I will annotate if this giveaway is closed in the title description, uh, so that way you don't try and enter a giveaway that's already done. But 
I think that about covers it for my video today. I really want to thank all you guys for watching, and if you haven't subscribed, please do so. That helps me out immensely. And click the bell if you want to be notified whenever I'm doing a new video. Maybe you'll be able to catch the new giveaways or anything like that that I come up with as well. And go ahead and check out the Twitter link down below. You can follow me on Twitter. You can always write me or comment or you know talk to me down there if you have anything to say or any questions you want to ask. I'll get back as soon as I can. Or you can leave comments down in the video as well. So I think that about covers it. And I'm going to end the video. So thanks for watching and we'll catch you guys next time.